Hello, my dear friends. In this video, I will show you how to hold the violin. Um, in the previous video, I was telling you about how important to prepare your body first before you will hold the violin. Prepare it to train the muscles so you'll be able to hold the violin for a certain amount of time without pain and without tense in your muscles. Um, if you didn't saw this video, I will leave the link under this video on that video where I'm telling in the details how to prepare the body to hold the valley. Right now I will show you how uh, how body will look when you hold in a valley, but without the valley. So shoulders relax down just like you normally would stay without any instrument and let's imagine somebody on the left side calling you and you will turn your head a little bit just to look at the person on the left so this little move it's about 10 degrees you will be turned that way i'm not telling you measure all your degrees but approximately it will be like this and next move is when we are doing this, when we agree with something. Head a little bit this way and agree with something. So a little bit turn your head down. That's all. This is how violin will stuck right in between your shoulder and this bone in here, you can see I have markings here. So we're not putting our chin on the chin rest, we're putting this part on the chin rest and we're kind of like resting our head in there. I mean, not pressing on the violin, there is no need to press, weight of our head will be enough. So, so the violin can stuck between shoulder and this bone. Now, look here. The distance between shoulder and this bone, telling in this position, is quite big. And uh, well, it doesn't feel all this distance. But what rest of the distance felt is with the shoulder rest. Now I have to tell you a little bit about the shoulder rest. The shoulder rest is something you must have. It's not optional, like, well, maybe I don't need a shoulder rest. Everybody needs a shoulder rest. It's must have. It's not coming in the sets when you're renting a violin or you're buying like a student uh, type violin and it comes already in the violin case. There is will be violin, there is will be bow, there is might be rose and might be a spare set of strings, but it doesn't have the shoulder rest. You have to buy the shoulder rest separate. Uh, big price range for the shoulder rest can be five dollars can be hundred dollars my suggestion don't buy the cheapest one spend a little bit of bucks and buy better one the more you're spending most likely the better comfort you will get and this is very important to keep to keep us in the comfort when we are playing on the such an awesome instrument like a valley. And also a couple of things to pay attention when you're choosing your shoulder rest. There is some quite beautiful can be and expensive to made out of solid wood or out of glass or out of some other interesting material with the flowers in it. Beautiful, very beautiful. I'm always looking at them like, oh, they just so cool. Quite expensive too. Don't buy them. Now, now you will see why. Um, first, what you have to pay attention when you buy your shoulder rest is uh, this, 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 this little piece in here. You have to be able to adjust them. As so you can see, they have this stick. Uh, the cheap models of the shoulder rest, they have the stick quite short, so you can adjust, but not too high. And uh, the longer the stick is right here, the better. Because the big 
bigger possibility to adjust your shoulder as you have. It's one thing to pay attention, another thing to pay attention, it's this soft cushion right here. It's very important to have soft cushion because your shoulder rest going on the shoulder and as you can see you have bumps in here, you have muscles in here, it's very unpleasant and something without soft cushion pressing on here. You will get the bruise right away and uh, um, basically this will be the end of your violin practice. That's all pretty much about the shoulder rest and there are different models of it but like I already said two main things to look at the feet adjustable and soft cushion. Now, one more time, how body looks without the violin, but when you're holding the violin, like this, shoulders relaxed, shoulders down, like you don't hold in anything, and then you turn in your head a little bit, just a little bit left side, and then you rest in your head on the chin rest. Violin going on the shoulder. You have to remember that it has to go on the shoulder, this flat surface in here, so it has something to lie on. Never put it on the chest. Honestly, there is no flat surface, there is nothing to lie on, on the chest. On the shoulder, well, I'm going on the shoulder, then you turn in your head a little bit left, and then you rest it on the chin rest. Now, look. I'm not holding violin with the hands, it's simply stuck between my shoulder and this bone, right here. That's all, I'm not raising the shoulder, I'm not squeezing violin with my chin and my head, just squeezing it, trying to hold it like that. It's simply will stuck between shoulder and and your um, bottom jaw like this. Now, when you put in your violin on the shoulder, uh, you might put it like this or whatever how, but. <laughs> Be trying to bring everything closer as long as us. That's why after you put the violin on the shoulder and you place your bone in here, try to move it a little bit, just a little bit in front of you. You don't have to put it like straight in front of you, but a little bit in front of you. Now look, I will take it away and you will see that my arm not under this angle and not in front of me. It's right going from this position, going straight like this. No any angles. The, this is how where the violin will go. Violin neck going in here from the shoulder, from the chin. It will be a little bit under angle, but the arm really not going here and not going in here. It's on the same level with your shoulder. One more time. Violin going on the shoulder. Here is your shoulder rest. Most of them even have a little curve. This one has a big curve, uh, but most of them having a smaller one. But still, this will be a little curve for your shoulder. And remember, violin will go on the shoulder. Never try to put it right here in front of you. It's wrong. It's one stuck, and you will have to hold it with your hand, which is not right. On the shoulder, turn your head a little bit left and rest your chin on the chin rest. Not chin, this bone. Remember, not the chin, this bone here. Resting 
on the chin there. And try to do it without the hands, like I do right now. Without the hands, you have to be able to move the rest of your body. You have to be able to talk for you like I do right now and get used to hold the violin that way. That's all. Thank you very much. See you in my next video. Bye.